I don't think many would argue that Jake Gyllenhaal is one of the most talented actors working today in Hollywood. He can essentially thrive in any genre he wants. He still definitely does have a long career of future films ahead of him, but he already does have a substantial amount of movies in his past. So I'm going to break down my picks for his top 10 movies. Coming up first at number 10, I have the disaster flick The Day After Tomorrow from 2004. There's no denying disaster movies have come a long way since this one, but The Day After Tomorrow is still a fun, gripping watch, and a younger Jake Gyllenhaal is great in this movie. It's certainly a Dennis Quaid movie, but Gyllenhaal's storyline is a focal part of the film, and he and his friends trying to navigate a frozen New York with his papa coming to rescue him is guilty pleasure cinema with Gyllenhaal delivering a very likable, grounded character to root for. Coming up next at number nine, I have the emotionally gripping drama Demolition from 2015. This was a quiet movie that didn't get a lot of buzz upon its release, but it is a heartfelt story about grief that delivers, I think, um, one of Gyllenhaal's most well-rounded performances. I think when Gyllenhaal is able to explore and grow inside of a character, he is at his best, and Demolition provides that broken character for him to breathe life into. It's gripping, it's humorous, it's inspirational, it's also somewhat cathartic in the hands of Jake Gyllenhaal. Coming up next at number eight, I have the creepy thriller mystery drama Donnie Darko from 2001. I think everybody would agree this is the movie that put Gyllenhaal on the map, and it's easy to see why, because despite surface-level appearances of normalcy here, Gyllenhaal gives this movie a multi-dimensional character. His performance is very unassuming, but I think he delivers just what this weirdly unique and subtly creepy story needed. Gyllenhaal's acting, I think, is doing much more than you think it is in this sinister role, and you can really pull more from it each time you watch it. Coming up next at number seven, I have the sci-fi mystery action thriller source code from 2011. I really enjoy this movie. I think it has such an inventive plot and Gyllenhaal is able to deliver another well-rounded performance. He's able to really dive into his dramatic roots with the suspenseful side of the story, but he's also able to provide touches of action as well. And I think he's a perfect fit for this film. This is another of Gyllenhaal's just multi-layered performances. And I think his chemistry with Michelle Monaghan is really perfect to sell their angle of the story. And I think this is a movie that can lure you in anytime you watch it. Coming up next at number six, I have the gritty drama slash mystery Prisoners from 2013. Now, normally I would have Prisoners higher on a film list. I think it's nearly a flawless film. I think Gyllenhaal is great as this mysterious man living inside of a seemingly normal detective, but this is certainly more a Hugh Jackman film than it is a Gyllenhaal film. Still though, he's fantastic in this role as a man who has much more going on under the surface. It's thought provoking. Gyllenhaal has a quiet rage and his precision performance performance in this film really is top tier. Up next, we've reached the middle of my list, and I have Guy Ritchie's The Covenant from this year, 2023. With his newest film, Gyllenhaal shows that he has not lost a single step in being able to dive into a multi-layered character. The Covenant is a blend of genres, and it all gels perfectly. Gyllenhaal is fantastic as a hardened sergeant, and he's just impressive in the action sequences. He's even more impressive in the dramatic sequences. His character is really a man of ethics with a moral code, and Gyllenhaal Hall embodies all of it flawlessly for the needs of this plot. Up next at number four, we have the boxing drama Southpaw from 2015. I would also say this movie is a bit forgotten, but it's easily Gyllenhaal's most physically taxing role because he embodies the broken boxer flawlessly. This character is extremely flawed. He's experienced a lot of trauma in the ring and in life. Uh, Gyllenhaal's navigating of this emotional intensity is just extremely raw and unfiltered. This isn't a real likable character, but Gyllenhaal doesn't expose uh, an emotional core, creating a redeemable quality that will have you rooting for his redemption, but more 
so out of the ring than inside, something that's rare for a boxing movie, but that's how strong Gyllenhaal's performance in this film really is. Up next at number three, I have the war drama thriller Jarhead from 2005. Now this for me was the actual movie that made me take notice of Jake Gyllenhaal. I remember Donnie Darko, but this was the performance that I think really grabbed my attention about him as an actor. Like I said, when he can dive into a character and fully explore it, the result is intriguing and Jarhead is a classic example as the experiences of war slowly break this young man's mind. Gyllenhaal delivers the full range of emotions emotional torment and rage and it's just easily another film to look at when talking about his most well-rounded and just multi-dimensional performances. Up next at number two, I have the moody thriller Nightcrawler from 2014. Now, I think I would consider this to be Gyllenhaal's best peer performance because he's just absolutely creepy and sinister as Lewis Bloom, but in such a grounded and demented way, he disappears into this dark character. And if you want to see Gyllenhaal just completely unhinged, Nightcrawler is the perfect choice. It's a movie that can consume your imagination each time you watch it. And with the wild card at the core, you hang on to this man's every twisted move. And Gyllenhaal's methodical performance is the focal reason and why this film is so good. And coming in at number one, my favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie, I have the gritty cop thriller End of Watch from 2012. Now, I love crime thrillers and they get much grittier than End of Watch. This is a very raw film with characters that feel very lived in and Gyllenhaal delivers just an emotionally intimate performance. He and Pena have a great chemistry together to really uh, sell them as partners and their clash with the cartel just continually escalates. These characters aren't necessarily likable, but they feel very real. Gyllenhaal is really just acting at full speed here from the action to the emotion to the bravado. And I think he's absolutely flawless for the needs of this movie and that's my list guys those are my picks for the top 10 jake gyllenhaal movies let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite gyllenhaal flicks are he definitely has a lot of movies in his future i'm surprisingly excited for this roadhouse remake coming out and in a handful of years it'll be fun to come back and do another top 10 list for him to see how it may have changed so uh, until the next video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this top 10 list and until the next video Movies never say die. This is Jack Burton and the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. Live a war. You gotta become war. I suppose we have to register you as a lethal weapon. You trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball?